Hey folks, today I have a car that is a little more affordable and it's more practical for everyday use. I've noticed that most of the car I film are kind of more to the higher end and more luxury and not every one of us can afford including myself. But I'm pretty sure all of us have a dream car in mind and it's always a pleasure to watch. Doesn't matter if it's something we can buy or just the fact that we want to watch just so we can uh, keep track of what's new out there. So today I have the uh, newest Scion model which is a brand new for the US market. It is a 2016 Scion IM. Now the Scion IM to me is made pretty similar to the old Toyota Matrix. It could be a direct competitor to the uh, Ford Focus, the Mazda 3 or even the uh, Volkswagen Golf. And this particular tester I have here today comes with a manual transmission which costs slightly lower than the available CVT transmission. Base price on the IM started from $18,460 now that is very affordable for most of us but what amazed me more is all the features that actually comes with the Scion IM. I personally think that this model is something every one of us will win from because of what you get for the price you pay. Some of the features that come standard with the uh, Scion IM are 17 inch alloy wheels, a power folding side view mirror, a backup camera system, a 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system with uh, 6 speaker located throughout the cabin, a remote keyless entry and many other features. I'll show you that as we go over the car. Up front, the first thing you will notice is the standard automatic projector beam halogen headlamp. Integrated into the headlamp is the LED daytime running lamp as well as the turn signal lamp. Looking at the lower portion of the front bumper, you notice two shiny black scoops and the shiny black air dam that goes together very well with the shiny black grill that extends all the way to each front headlight with the sign logo in the middle. Very unique looking front end. And it also comes standard with the variable intermittent front windshield wiper. Moving to the side you see the standard 17 inch alloy wheels with black inserts with 225-45 tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated breakers and the brake caliber painted in silver. Body color type view mirror with integrated turn signal indicator. And it also features folded option. And here's a look to the top with the uh, shark fin antenna. Behind the rear wheel is the solid rear brake disc as well as the silver painted brake caliber. It also comes with a star safety system which consists of vehicle stability and traction control, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist as well as heel start assist. All four wheels are also equipped with tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, you see the LED tail lamp with LED brake lamps as well as turn signal lamp. Very cool LED tail light right there. I am badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom is the shiny black rear diffuser and a single chrome tip exhaust. You also notice the uh, rear lift on the bumper that makes it look a lot more aggressive. Rear camera is located right under the uh, Scion logo and it will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. On top you see the roof spoiler as well as the third LED brake light. Okay, here I have the remote with sign logo on the back and push the top button to release the key. On the remote I have the lock, panic and unlock button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The exterior color is known as Barcelona Red featuring a full black interior with shiny black wood trims as well as aluminum trims throughout. Black seat with white contrast stitching. Very cool looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So to start the vehicle, make sure the gear shift is at neutral and insert the key into the key ignition. Put your foot on the clutch and brake and turn it to start.
Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Scion IM have to offer. Under the hood is a 1.8 liter 4 cylinder engine, 16 valve DOHC, 6 speed manual transmission, front wheel drive. It is pushing out 137 horsepower and 126 pound feet of torque. Can hit from 0 to 60 in about 9.5 seconds. Now, this is the most impressive part of the uh, IM. EPA estimated fuel economy is 27 city, 36 highway, and 31 combined. Very nice number. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver side door panel. It is all black with shiny wood trims on the door handle. Driver side windows are fully automatic. Door lock and unlock. Down here you have the cup holder and uh, storage compartment. There's the pedal. And here's a look at the seat. Both front seats feature sport front bucket seats with manual seat adjustment. Seats are made with fabric and cloth material with white contrast stitching all around. The three-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with white contrast stitching to match with the seat with aluminum accenting trims in the middle. It also features multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, cruise control, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the wheel to the left you have the light control as well as turn signal light. To the right you have the windshield wiper control. Steering wheel does feature a manual tilt and telescopic steering column. And there's a look at the instrument cluster. It features a large TFT screen in the middle that shows important information uh, in front of the driver. To the left, you have the circular air vent with aluminum trims around it. Down here, you have the uh, side view mirror control, also feature folded option. There you have the hood release lever and a look at the dash. Now this particular model comes with an audio system featuring six speakers located throughout the cabin. It also features Bluetooth audio streaming and hand-free calling, USB as well as an auxiliary port for iPod connectivity. And here's the beautiful dash design with beautiful accenting trims and black wood trims. Now the 7-inch uh, touchscreen display is very responsive as you can see. volume button there you have setting general voice display Bluetooth phone vehicle and the voice command what button like to do? media inside media you have your AM FM star radio and the emergency has a light down here you have your climate control Storage compartment. You also have the 12 volt power outlet, USB, and auxiliary input. And here's the uh, manual transmission. It is wrapped in leather with white contrast stitching. Now, to move it uh, into reverse, all you have to do is pull up the lever, put your foot on the clutch, and then to the left and up to get to reverse. And backup camera will appear on the multimeter screen with guidance line to help with a much easier backup. And to get to number one or two, all you have to do is push it up or down, up and down. Feels very good in your hand as well. There you have the parking brake. And the traction control on and off button. 
dual cup holders, center storage compartment, you also have another one on top, and there's the beautiful uh, leather piece in the middle of the dash. Here you have the glove box compartment. And a closer look at the seat once again. Okay, on top you have the light control on and off, the door light, and the uh, sunglasses holder. There's the rear view mirror, sun visor mirror. You also have the uh, switch to turn on and off the light. Now let's take a look at the rear seat. Rear seats offer seating for three and it is very spacious in the back as you can see. Offer plenty of leg room. And seats does feature a uh, folded option. You can fold it into a 60 or 40 split. And here's the look at the uh, rear driver side door panel. You have a cup holder on the uh, door panel. Now let's get into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front. Very spacious cabin. Down here you have the storage compartment. Okay, I'm 5'8", and this is how much leg room I have left. Plenty of room left for even a taller individual. And there you have the seat pocket. On top you have the light. Door handle. And look to the back. There you have the armrest for the rear passenger as well as two cup holders. Very comfortable seat. Gas cap is located on the uh, driver side. Now we're going to pop the trunk as well as the gas. It does not require premium unleaded fuel, just regular fuel will do. And uh, it holds approximately 14 gallons of fuel. Now to pull the trunk open, there's a button under the uh, sign logo to push it in and uh, lift it up to open. So the trunk in the sign IM offer 20.8 cubic feet of cargo space, which is a lot of space for its class. And there you also have the uh, panel to cover your item when the trunk is closed. And keep in mind that you can also fold down the seat uh, into 60 or 40 split for your convenience. And there you have your floor mat. Down here you have more storage compartment. And your spare tie under that. Overall, the new 2016 Scion IM is a compact vehicle offering seating for 5 passengers and come equipped with many safety features and technologies. Three passengers can fit comfortably in the back thanks to its spacious rear seat. Front cabins are also very spacious and comes with nice quality material such as shiny black wood trims, aluminum trims, as well as a touchscreen infotainment system that will entertain all your passengers. Now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. Very spacious as you can see. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2016 Scion IM. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.